proceeds today will go towards the International Rat Syndrome Foundation. Now I'd like to introduce to you our city councilman, Bob Ward. Come on up, Bob. Good morning. It's, a, it's an honor and a privilege for me to be here. And, and of course, I, I look at the support that you're giving the uh, the uh, Crandall family today, and I know you're doing it out of love and and your support for them, and uh, I know they appreciate it. Glad to, I'm glad to be here. Well, you get to listen to some uh, whereases today, so don't roll your eyes at all the whereases. But uh, I'm going to present a proclamation on behalf of the city of Jacksonville. And whereas Rett syndrome is a childhood neurodevelopmental disorder that almost exclusively affects females, and although it is present at birth, symptoms do not usually develop until children are between the ages of 6 and 18 months, and whereas Sidney Crandall was diagnosed two years ago with Rett syndrome at the age of three, she used to talk and clap, but no longer does these things. She now struggles with seizures, hand coordination, and has some difficulty walking. And whereas, in spite of the disorder, Sydney has learned to communicate with her eyes and with her smile. She has a way of lighting up a room with these things. And whereas we still have much to learn about Rett syndrome, but there have been significant advances in research and diagnosis. Currently, no cure exists but many symptoms of the disorder can be managed with medication and occupational speech and physical therapy. <coughs> and whereas Rett syndrome presents many challenges, but with support like you today, therapy and assistance, those with the syndrome can benefit from school and community activities well into middle age and beyond. And whereas Trinity United Methodist Church, that's y'all, is holding a dog show and fundraiser on October 20th, 2012 at 10 a.m. today in support of Sydney. On behalf of the mayor of, of Jacksonville, Sammy Phillips, I do hereby proudly proclaim today, Saturday, October 20th, 2012, as Sydney Crandall Day in the city of Jacksonville. And, and the mayor encourages all citizens to join in the activities to honor Sydney and her family. And thank you again for your support. Thank you very much, Mr. Warden. You're welcome. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you our judges for today. Our first